This is ABC Fora. That's just me hanging out in my studio. But yeah, usually I build up a whole big stockpile of billboards and then we go out and paste them up. And again, like I'm trying to do, um, I wanted to work with things that had like an element. So um, it's kind of hard to see in this photo, but like off his penis, I had a, a, a rope that went all the way down to the ground. And then I had constructed this um, big yellow splash on the ground that held the rope. <laughs> and this is just very, very, very early when, in, and before there were like any, any politics in my um, billboards, it really, at the, at the very beginning of, of this journey, I, I, I thought of, um, well, like I was stuck in, in rush hour one time, and I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if, if uh, all these billboards that we're looking at were a big art gallery, and then we wouldn't, we'd still be stuck in rush hour, but it would be like a, kind of at an art opening. So originally, I was thinking I was making these big paintings, and I was giving them away free to the public. And uh, it wasn't until later that I started adding um, politics. I, um, I moved to Austin, Texas, and I lived um, in a house full of... Uh, political activist, and they knew I was running around doing the billboards, and then they, they were the ones to actually encourage me to start, you know, doing something besides using the uh, billboards to show off my art. And, and a lot of times they're, they're kind of topical from the moment, and, and at one point it seemed like that we were going to invade Iran, and I, I think that really was on the agenda, but uh, that's the billboard I did during that, that time. And this is one of the early ones in New York. Um, it was a big thing with censorship in the arts, and um, they were, um, Jesse Helms and some other politicians were shutting down a lot of the art organizations and stuff, and anybody that got public funding. And so, uh, and, and a lot of people, like in the United States, were like, I think censorship is a good thing, and so I was trying to think of kind of a, a something that's catchy that would kind of make that case. And again, this is back um, when the cigarette companies, um, at one point, Cam Camel Cigarettes had, had a campaign that used an older man who was a, a mountaineer and a world adventurer. And um, they, they completely lost the youth demographic, which, you know, and, and their, their, um, their patrons were all dying off, and they really needed to capture the youth market. But, you know, do you really hook somebody on smoking when they're about 14 or 13 years old? And by the time they're, they're 21 and might have some interest in a world adventure, you know, they're probably too old to start smoking. It's hard to capture that market. So they actually took the World Adventure guy and they made him much younger. And even in the campaign, it was kind of interesting because they, he met the guy in the campaign and then, then he met the younger guy and then you started following him. And instead of having a canoe, he had a speedboat. But, you know, to a 14-year-old kid, you know, a speedboat isn't really, doesn't mean that much to him. They really had to kind of come out with uh, cartoon characters to capture the kid market. And when they did that, I created this, this campaign of, you know, and, and was a lot more egregious with it to help kind of get people pissed off. And again, like another issue like of the day, it's like uh, Monica, and I was thinking she was kind of like JFK had Marilyn and, and Clinton had Monica, so I just did that. And um, yeah, another one of my friends who's a political activist was asking me to do like a campaign against bovine growth hormone. So I came up with uh, Kathy Cowgirl as kind of the spokesmodel for the, the campaign. This is one we did like in Las Vegas. It's like about 100 foot. But we, we had this one printed on vinyl and then we scaled the top of the billboard and we attached it and then just dropped it. And again, it's back to the, the camel stuff. And th this one was kind of interesting because actually um, th this wasn't owned by the billboard company. The, the, um, the billboard, it was a privately owned. And, um, so he said, look, I'll just let you have the billboard, you know, for however long you want it. So I would go over there every month and I would put up a billboard and then a, a day later the billboard company would come paint over it, even though they didn't actually own the billboard. So this is like we're running around the country this year um, promoting... Uh, doing the Obama campaign. So I guess, I, I don't know if you guys know about Fox News or not, but uh, that should be their slogan. And sometimes we're just like having fun. And, and like on this day, we were just out and um, 
like we brought a band and they were playing on the billboard and, and usually like we'll do like a whole bunch of billboards like in the same neighborhood and usually people will come out and sometimes they like bring pictures of iced tea and they kind of get into it. And again, now I'm just trying to do billboards that um, seem like they, they could possibly be by, by, the, um, by the actual company so you, you can never be quite sure. This is ABC Fora.